So here's a quick video where in a second I'll take you inside the Nikon D4's viewfinder and just show you a couple of subtle tweaks compared to the older D3S whereby the um, D4 now feeds a bit more information back to the photographer which are pretty cool. Um, I've made this video to accompany a mini review that I've written on my blog richardpeters.co.uk slash blog and if you're watching this video on the blog then uh, I hope you're enjoying the article. Um, it basically just talks about uh, the differences between the two cameras based on um, initial impressions from having had the D4 for a couple of weeks. Um, I'll be doing a more thorough review and talking about the camera more in due course so keep an eye on the blog. But um, in the meantime let's have a look inside the Nikon D4's viewfinder at the new improvements. Okay so here we are looking through the viewfinder and the first thing you'll notice if you're coming from a D3 or a D3S is there's now a grid on screen and um, you can turn this on and off. Um, I've got it on because it's something that I've always liked having if it's available um, so it's nice to have those back. But uh, what I'm going to do is hold down the new focus mode selection button at the front of the D4 and you'll see straight away it hides all the information around the screen, it hides the grid and it just tells me at the bottom of the screen I'm in um, continuous auto focus mode with AFC and I'm in single point um, focus mode with the S and also you'll see there's just one single focus point highlighted on the screen. Now if I rotate the front command dial to the right you'll see the S at the bottom changes to D9 and I've now got nine focus points active on the screen. If I let go of the button though, this is where it's really cool. So now I can still see by looking at the focus point that I'm in dynamic focus mode because the focus point has dots around it and that's basically letting me know which focus points are being used um, in dynamic nine point mode. Hold down the button again, switch to the right, I'm now in dynamic 21 point mode. Um, you can see more focus points have become active let go of the button and again you can see the main focus point is now surrounded by more dots giving me greater coverage so again I've got an idea of exactly what focus points are being used on my subject and uh, of course I can see what mode I'm in just by looking at the um, at the focus points on screen which is really cool hold it down again switch to the right I'm now in 51 point mode let go and you can see that the dots basically um, have completely surrounded the whole um, focus point selection area and I can just move the normal single point around within there. Hold it down again, switch to the right, I'm now in 3D mode. Let go and that's signified by uh, a single focus point on the screen but it's got a dot in the middle of it so that I know that I'm not in normal single point mode and I'm actually in um, 3D mode. Hold the button down again, switch to the right and I'm now in auto mode let go of the button and now there's no focus points uh, selectable at all because I'm in auto mode so that's how you know by looking through the viewfinder what mode you're in um, if there's no focus points available you're in auto hold down the button switch to the right again and back to single so the other thing I just wanted to quickly show you is the new virtual horizon on the D4 as it detects pitch and roll um, on the D3 and D3S you just use the exposure meter on the right hand side to tell you if the camera was level um, but on the D4 because you've got pitch and roll uh, there's obviously something else needs to change so now what you get to detect roll if you can see that is the focus points quite cleverly go left to right so you know exactly when the camera is level and the exposure meter obviously detects um, pitch. So that's just another one of the small changes on the D4 compared to the D3S and uh, the way the information is fed back to you through the viewfinder.